Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Kalia Malcolm. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, May 1st, 2024. Catherine, Catherine, Catherine! What? What happened? I failed my measure civics test. <laughs> How do you fail that test? It was so easy. Be so for real. Whatever, Hadassah. Leave her alone. Don't worry much about it. I'll help you study for your next pitch mark test. Thank you, Catherine. Hey, Catherine, guess what? What? I passed my benchmark, thanks to your very studious brain. Congratulations, what did you get? 85. Great job, I'm so glad I could help. Thank you so much, I couldn't have done it without you. No problem. <laughs> Kalia probably got a 25%, what did you get? I actually got an 85. <clears throat> Kalia? 85? I got a 75! Harasa, you need to stop thinking that you're better than everyone and show some positive empathy towards others. Talk like that makes you look selfish, and no one deserves to feel like they're not doing a good job. Hmm, you're probably right. I'm sorry for how I treated you, and I promise to be more mindful of how I treat others. And I promise to show more empathy. I'm glad you know better. Also, can you maybe teach me more about civics? I'm trying to get a good grade next time. Of course. Okay, thank you. Life's Camera Action Patriots! Today in history on May 1st, 1941, the movie Citizen Kane was shown to the public. Citizen Kane is an American film drama starring Orson Welles. It was released in 1941 and is considered by many critics to be the greatest film ever made. Citizen Kane is about the rise and fall of publishing magnet Charles Foster Kane. It is one of the few films ever made for which a remake is almost impossible. It was one of the first films to be added to the Library of Congress National Film Registry in 1989 due to its culturally, historically, and aesthetically significant status. Wow, I wish I was there to watch it back then. Now let's go to Smart for today's lunch. Thank you, Catherine. Today's lunch is... Students, please keep in mind the lunch menu can change at any time. And don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, and let's head back to Goya. Thank you, Samara. That sounds fantastic. Tomorrow, 7th and 8th, we'll have the chance to go to the Patriot Store. The store is open from 715 to 755 a.m. Make sure to come on time. Patriots, please remember to keep your phones shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And there is no chewing gum in school. Please spit it out before entering the building. And you can only wear a school jacket or a sweater. If you want a yearbook of you and the rest of your class, then go to myschoolbooks.com. It is $45. The yearbook is a reflection of all of our progress. Come on and take a look at our battlers for the lip sync battle. Patriots, oh boy, where has the time gone? The epic lip sync battle is coming up tomorrow, Thursday, May 2nd. That's right, you heard me. Tomorrow, you do not want to miss it. The epic lip sync battle presented by Pines Cheerleaders, starting at 6.30 p.m. Pre-sale tickets are only $5 on myschoolbucks.com, or you can pay at the door for $7.00. Pre-sale with dinner package is only $12. Be 
Be there, Patriots. The epic lip sync battle. You don't want to miss it. Woohoo! I can't wait to see this epic showdown. Today, sixth graders will be taking their fast reading, and tomorrow, seventh graders will be taking their fast reading. We wish you all the best of luck. Don't be stressed and do your best. Do you want to know who will get a pancake and PJ party? Well, it will be K through second, but they will only get it if they finish their challenge. Same with third through eighth. They will be having a fun day outside with some very exciting games. If they do their challenge, time is short, so let's hustle. Tomorrow, our girls flag football team will have a game against Slam Boca. The game will start at 4 p.m. Let's go support them because after this, they will have their one final game. Now let's go to Camilo for today's weather. Aye aye Patriots, today's weather is 85 degrees Fahrenheit with isolated thunderstorms. In other weather news, a sunken town resurfaces because of a severe drought in the Philippines. It has been underwater since 1970 and is in the middle of a water reservoir, but because of the severe drought dropping the water levels, this amazing sight was revealed. The ruins being revealed has drawn tourists from around the world. Even though this is an amazing sight, I hope they get some much needed rain soon. Now, Swiss Air Patriots, happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Camila. Today's birthday boys and girls are Marley Aiken, Kumora McMins, Harmony Kleist, and Eric Williams. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Kalia. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Jordan, Ms. Sands, Ms. Arnold, and Ms. Nelson for getting the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what question can you never answer yes to? The correct answer was, are you asleep yet? Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. I speak without a mouth and hear without ears. I have no body, but I can come alive with the wind. What am I? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone here at RFB TV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. Have a fantastic day.